Good morning, everyone. Now, after doing the serializer, it's time to create the views. To create the views, we are going to the views.py and we are going to get some things from here. First, from REST framework, we are going to import the generics and the status. After, from REST framework dot response, we are going to import the response. From models, we are going to import the quiz and question and answer. And after that, we have also to import from our serializers. The serializer, we are going to import the serializers that you have created, namely the question serializer, the quiz serializer, and the question serializer. That one, uh, the answer serializer, is not necessary because everything that we have done in the serializers, it's uh, from the answers, is in the question serializer. And because of this, I believe we also don't need the answer model here. Next, from so here we are going to import the views generics, but I also want to do some views with the API view. So you can have like a grasp of the two ways to do views. We're not going to use uh, to use view sets, but you could also have done with it. Okay, so from Django. Four oh four. And that's it. Let's create our first view. First, to create our first view, we are going to create a list and create the quiz. So this use will allow us to view all the quiz, but also to create the quiz. And we are going to do that in a way that you are going to get the most restful API possible. Meaning, in, the, in this case, that we are going to have the list and create in the same URL, and after, in the detail, for example, we are going to have in the same URL slash and the ID of the quiz. From here, from the generics, we just create API view and we query set. The query set is going to be quiz dot objects dot all. We want all the quiz here. And for the serializer class, we are going to use the quiz serializer that we have created before. Now we want retrieve update destroy quiz. So this view is going to be used to update delete and also retrieve specific quiz and you are going to get that one from retrieve date destroy reset it's going to be the same as here Next, let's do the same thing for the questions, but let's do that without the generics. So to see how good and nice it is to have the generics to create views. Usually sometimes use the IP view when you want to create a more complex view, but in that case, I believe it was not needed. For that, from the IP view, Let's override some methods that we already have. Self request format going to be none. Mm. 
in the keyword arguments. And here, from the question, we're going to retrieve the question from objects, from the question model. So in uh, all the objects, we went to filter, where from the filter, we went to filter, the quiz ID, the keywords arguments of quiz ID that way the serializer that we're going to use is going to be okay, and now what are we doing we are serializing each question many equal to true because we have many and from here, we are going to return a response. It's going to be serializer dot data, and that's it to get to get quiz questions and to create quiz questions. It's going to be this way, and to assess the request. Now, we want uh, to get the quiz that we are going to create the question. It's going to be quiz.objects.get the ID in the quiz is going to be equal to this one. There is a mistake here. Now let's serialize our data. Serializer going to be equal request dot data. As you can see, just to list and create, we are already repeating a lot. Is why the generics and the view sets are useful. And now if the serializer data is valid. We went to save it. Where the quiz is going to be equal to the quiz. That means this is going to assign the quiz to the question. And if everything is good, let's return a response. with with a message creation created successfully and we want also to return the data. The visualizer dot data. Mm -hmm. And here the stats is going to be equal to stats dot HTTP 201 created. Okay, and that's it for the list and the create of the questions. You can see much more work that we did here. And that one is going to get a lot of work also. But let's do that. So that class is going to be quiz question detail 
and again from from that page view. Here we want to, to define how to retrieve the object, how to update the object, and how to delete the object. The same thing is here. So let's define first the get object. So from self and the primary key, we're going to try return question dot object dot get where our ID is equal to PK. If we don't find, we're going to raise an exception. Question does not exist. We're going to raise HTTP for a foreign not found. Next, let's define our get. And to get, it's going to be self, request, primary key, and format equal to none. So the question you want to retrieve with this method that we create, get going to be self dot get object. And what we do did here? We could uh, do all these codes in uh, all of the methods, but this is to help us to simplify the code, to not write everything of here in all the methods. So from the get object, we went from the primary key. Let's serialize our question. It's going to be question serializer question and return response serializer dot data. That's it for the get method for the retrieve. Now let's do for the update. Let's be patch self request. Same thing as above. Here, I can copy this. I think that here, when in the serializer, we have to provide the updated data. So the data is going to be data equal to requests. It's coming in a request. And we are going to pass the, da the data. Let's say partial equal to true. For example, I want to allow to update only some fields and uh, not all of uh, not all of them. If a serializer is valid, let's save this. Dot save. And we are going to return the response. If this is not successful, we're going to return. I want to add a little more space. Return response. Serializer dot errors. That's going to be HTTP four hundred four. 400 bad request. And the last one is going to be the delete. Simplify, let's copy from here. Dear, the question, we're going to retrieve the question. And we don't need to serialize here, we just want to 
from that question just want to delete it and let's return a response similar to this one with the message question deleted successfully we don't need to pass any data here so it's going to be this and stats is going to be http go for no content and in principle everything is done in the views the only thing that is remaining is to create the URLs and to test the endpoints so for this video is everything if you enjoy put a like share and subscribe and see you for the URL on.